Hey kids, uh, today we're gonna learn how to encrypt USB drives because that's one of the most important things you should know how to do. I got away with too many years of my life not encrypting drives. It's a good idea to do it because the risk is too great. You don't want your stuff falling into someone else's hand. Uh, I encrypt all of my USB drives and I actually encrypt all of my hard drives on my computer as well, basically. Uh, so I'm going to put this USB drive into my computer and we are going to learn about how to create an encrypted partition on it. Um, and by the way, this script, I'll show you this at the end of the video, uh, does a lot of stuff, mounting and unmounting and decrypting stuff automatically. That's what I use on my computer so I don't have to run these commands manually every time. Okay, so I just hooked up that USB drive. Um, you'll see that we have three hard drives attached right now. So we have SDA, that is uh, my main hard drive on my computer, SDB is another hard drive I have attached, and uh, lastly we have this one, uh, this SDD, this is the one that we just attached. Okay, so this is, the, this is the one we want to operate on. So I'm going to go ahead and become root because basically all these commands we need to run to set things up need to be run as root. Um, now, firstly, I assume that you kind of already have a partition. You probably already have a partition on your drive, in which case you can skip this one step, but just in case you don't, you want to run fdisk on the drive in question. So we want sdd, so we want to run fdisk on dev sdd, and then you'll want to delete all the partitions, you know, each time with D, and then create a new partition, give it basically the default options. If you've installed Linux, you probably already, or if you've installed Arch Linux or something, or played around with stuff, you probably know how to do this, uh, and then press W to write it. Either way, all you need is you need to have some partition that you want to encrypt, okay? You, you can't just have the drive, you have to have a partition under it. So let's encrypt this. Now that we've done this, I did that in two seconds, but let's go ahead and use the command crypt setup, okay? Chances are, I would say you probably have this already installed on your computer, even if you don't know that you've been, I don't know, running it. Uh, but if you don't, you can use your favorite package manager to install it however you want. Um, so crypt setup is the, the command that is going to format and open and decrypt uh, all of these drives that we're going to be using. So there are three commands in crypt setup that we need to know. The first one we only need to know to set a drive up, and that is lux format. Um, and then once we have a drive, and let's say you've encrypted a drive, you have stuff on your, your I don't know, hard drive, or your USB drive. If you plug it up to a computer, the command you run to open that is open. And when you're done with it, you can run close to close it out and de you know re-crypt it, re-encrypt it. Um, now it's still encrypted on the drive itself, but it's just open to the computer. And if you want to you know avoid that, I don't know, liability, that surface area for attack, you close it. Anyway, so let's do it step by step though. Okay, so the first command, as I said, is lux format. So lux, just in case if you don't know, uh, Lux stands for, I don't even actually know, it's Linux something something. Lux is like the Linux encryption. You can look it up if you care. <laughs> but you'll hear people talking about it. I forget what it stands for exactly. Um, either way, you want to run that on dev sdd1. So this is the partition that we want to run it on. So uh, it's going to tell you, oh, you are going to overwrite all your data. Uh, type yes if you really want to do this. Um, so be sure to back things up if you, you know, you don't. Uh, and then at this point, it's going to ask for a password. And this is going to be the pass for, password you use to decrypt your drive. Now, later on, you can add or change passwords and stuff like that. You can read the documentation for that. I recommend just picking something strong and memorable uh, right off the bat. So I'm, but in this case, I'm just going to use the word password. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to do that. It's going to take a second to encrypt everything. Um, taking more seconds than I expected. Okay, now it's done. So now, uh, nothing looks different on LSBLK, but what we can do now is we can run this command, crypt setup open, and we're gonna run it on that same partition, in our case, dev sdd1, and you need to give it a second argument, and this can be whatever, this is basically what you wanna name it when you mount it. Um, now this does it, this isn't a permanent name, this is only at the time that we are going to decrypt it right now on this computer. So next time you do it, it can be something different. I'm just gonna call it, uh, I don't know, drive, okay, something like that. Um, so I'm now, it's gonna ask you for a password and just give the password you gave before, okay, to encrypt it. And now what you should see 
is this drive, because we've named it drive, it appears here. Okay. Note also this is what's going on in the main hard drive of my computer. It's actually a de decrypted drive just like this. Okay. So things aren't done yet. Okay. There is one step we need to do for setup, and then we also need to mount the drive. Okay. So this one step for setup is we've decrypted this drive, but it actually doesn't even have a file system on it yet. We haven't done that. So we need to set this up as well. So what I'm going to do is run make uh, file system and I'm gonna give, I'm gonna create a BTRFS file system on it. And so I'm gonna run that on dev mapper drive. Now, again, you only need to run this once. Um, and here's the important thing. I am running this on dev mapper drive, right? Drive being the same thing as this, right? Drive. Um, no, when you first, uh, when you decrypt a drive like we've just done, it will appear in dev mapper. And it's important to run this command on the thing in dev mapper, not on dev sdd1, because what that will do is it will overwrite your encrypted partition with a new partition that isn't encrypted. This, you know, uh, this new uh, BTRFS uh, file system, which we don't want. Um, so I just ran it and it gave a bunch of output, but it worked. Okay, trust me, it worked. Uh, so now what we can do is actually mount the thing, okay? So as I said, um, it is located in dev mapper drive. And notice also we should have some other stuff in here. Um, this is the main hard drive on my computer. Control is something else. USB is actually a drive I just ripped out of my computer and without closing it out, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> um, but anyway, so we can just mount this as if it's a normal partition now, okay? So we can put it in uh, MNT, is there a sub directory there? Okay, yeah, we'll just mount it to mount, okay? So now it functions just like a normal drive. You can write files and let's actually write a file in here. Let's say um, secret file. So this is a secret file that only people with the password can read, okay? All right, so that's, um, that's all we need. And uh, if we want to unmount our drive, so what we can do is, again, normally with a normal drive, you just run unmount and it's unmounted. And it's actually unmounted here too, so that works exactly. Uh, it works for encrypted drives as well. But the only other thing is, as I said, there's this other command, crypt setup. And you probably want to run crypt setup close drive. And what this does is, remember when we ran the crypt setup open, it decrypted the drive for access by our computer. Now we're just closing it, okay? So if someone hypothetically hadn't run this and your computer had been compromised, right? Someone could have taken the data from your USB, right? In some way, because it's easy for them to mount. They don't know the password, so they can't decrypt it, okay? Um, so now that should be closing. Uh, so closed, closing. Um, so drive has now disappeared and that's about it. So that's mounting and unmounting. So just a reminder, um, the only commands you need for now that we've created everything, we've created the Lux partition and the file system, the BTRFS file system, the only things you need when you mount a, or when you plug up a drive is you just run crypt setup on the drive, uh, excuse me, open on the drive, uh, and then just give it a name, doesn't matter what it is, and then you'll decrypt it. Okay, then get, based on what your name is, you can just mount it, so dev mapper asdv, because that's what I gave it. You can mount it to wherever you want. And then once you're done with it, you can unmount it, right? And then close the partition for extra safety. Uh, yeah, okay. So now that's how you do it, right? So I just opened it, I could have written stuff, and then I closed it up. Now the script that I made, um, now for the longest time, if you use my dot files, um, uh, I think uh, hold down Windows, the Windows key and you press F9 and that will mount a USB drive for you and hold down Windows key and press F10 and it will unmount a drive. Um, I've actually rewritten these scripts. I haven't forced, I, I need to go ahead and update them. I've put the scripts with the repository but I haven't uh, forced them on the key bindings yet. Um, but I've actually rewritten these scripts so that they can actually decrypt drives. So all this stuff that I just did, you don't even have to do that once you have a decrypted drive. Let me show you how it actually works now. Um, so if I go, if I go over here and I type, uh, I just press my normal, well, we can be on another screen so that doesn't confuse me. 
So now you can just press Super and F9 and it will give you a menu of whatever drives you have that happen to be mountable. Um, and you'll notice that normal drives will have the floppy disk thing on it, but encrypted drives will have the lock icon. So if I select this, it actually brings up a little terminal window that asks for my password. So I'm going to put in my password um, and that's going to decrypt in just a second. And then it's going to ask you, where do you want to mount this? Okay, so I'm going to mount it in mount and then it's going to say, oh, it's been mounted. So we can verify that that has worked uh, by running that and you see it's attached and we can run the D unmount uh, drive uh, and it will unmount, right? So it also gives you a message that it's been securely locked. So if you want to remount it again, it ran both of those commands. It didn't just unmount it. It also crypt set up, closed it. So um, yeah, I've been using that recently. There are a couple of little uh, changes I want to make to the script, uh, but in general, it works perfectly well for encrypted drives. So that's about it. That um, Now that's the general principles on how like Lux partitions work. Uh, like how to use them, how to mount them. Um, I will say that encrypting your main hard drive on your computer will require some extra steps because, um, you know, Linux needs to have some certain, you know, stuff in Grub and the startup uh, enabled so that you can, um, I, I guess, open them by default. But next time, yeah, maybe I should do like a Artix uh, installation video where I, I, I actually encrypt the whole, the whole hard drive and stuff. That might be a good idea uh, just to show how that works. So anyway, that is about it. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.